Hi guys, I'm Rachel O'Leary, and today I wanted to tell you a little bit about preparing my carnivorous temperate bog garden for the growing season. Now, generally, this wouldn't happen yet, but we are having a particularly unseasonably mild late winter. Um, so I'm going to open up the bog earlier, earlier than normal as there is no predicted weather below freezing. Over the winter, I put burlap over top of my bog garden. And then I put about a foot of pine litter on top. Now I do purchase that so that it's sterile. I could collect it, but I don't want to introduce bugs to my garden when it's not actively eating. So in the spring, once risk of hard freeze is passed, I remove the burlap and the pine litter. Um, and the burlap is mainly there just to keep most of the pine litter out of the actual garden. And you can see that there was quite a lot of growth. I don't bother trimming these in the fall. I wait until just before the growing season in the spring. Um, as it, I don't find that it makes any difference. Uh, and then I'll take a pair of really sharp scissors and go around and trim off all of the pitchers that have any sort of compromised growth at all, except for my purpureas. I'll remove any of the accumulated leaf litter, pine needles, uh, dead fly trap um, traps, or anything like that. Um, being careful to not cut off any starts to new growth or flower spikes that could be coming up. And this allows me to get a really good look at how everything stands, how it's doing, and really just have a uh, good idea of what the, the season will hold. Um, this is my secondary bog. I'm going to turn this into more of a permanent structure soon, but really that's it. And now we just wait for it to grow. As always, thanks for your continued support.